Hello, my lovely, and welcome back to another episode of the Glimmer Seekers podcast. What is your glimmer? I am Annie Eclectic, your host. I am a mama of a bubble with a difference. I have two passion businesses, and one of them is the Glimmer Seekers and the Glimmer Seekers Collective Membership. Within the membership, we love to look at how we bring out our amazing wonderful shimmering shine in our passion businesses bringing our true selves out and oh that was really fast wasn't it um and I've totally lost the words I was looking for um okay so within the glimmer seekers collective we look at working with the natural energies we love to look at how we can increase our happy hormones work with our most limited selves to bring the optimum amount of joy into our lives and our businesses and we like to do it in a truly unedited and unedited and edited way and with rawness well I mean that is just perfect isn't it for what I'm trying to say I still haven't worked out how to do this intro I am absolutely terrible at it because all I want to do is just get nattering eh that's all I want to do and right now, I'm very, very stiff and achy um, because I have sat and I have recorded four podcasts now and I haven't moved from this spot. If you are watching on YouTube or on Spotify um, and you've got them eyeballs that recognize this like outfits and stuff, I haven't moved. I haven't changed my top. I haven't done that thing that people tell you to do in order to keep people interested. I'm not doing it I am working with my capabilities my limitations and I know for a fact if I get up before I finished recording this episode I I get distracted like I I'm there's a reason why I'm not allowed to cook in our house I can't even make toast without forgetting that I've put it in the toaster and we end up with a fire alarm going off and the cat going crazy around the house and the kid telling me that everything's loud you know that's the type of person I am so I'm recording this episode and then I will get up and I'll move and I'm sure that my poor aching body will thank me for it. Um, So this is the fourth episode that I have recorded which means that we are on episode eight which feels pretty flipping incredible really and it occurs to me I have not discussed with you what a glimmer is. And that's kind of a pivotal thing within this <laughs> within this collective, within this group, in within this business, within my passion business, because I am so passionate about it. Um, so I thought in this episode, that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about glimmers. Now, if you look at the dictionary definition of a glimmer, it is uh, I think it's like moonlight coming through the trees and rippling on a stream or something utterly ridiculous um but the type of glimmers that I am talking about I'm sure you will have seen somewhere on the internet on Instagram somewhere it's pretty hot on Instagram um and it is a term that was coined by an incredible woman named Deb Dana. And she is a licensed clinical social worker. And she has um she specializes in complex trauma, which is, you know, pretty heavy. But I think we all as humans deal with complex trauma. I am not a qualified person to talk to you about your traumas or trying to work through it or anything like that yes I work as a crystal tickler (laughs) and I say crystal tickler because I feel like calling myself a crystal healer when in actual fact I believe that the people doing the healing are the people who come to me you know um maybe those people see me differently but that's the way that I see it I simply provide the tools and the people who come to me do the healing work um but I do thoroughly enjoy 
diving into the world of looking at neuroscience and how we can do little things in our lives to increase the amount of uh, positive hormones that we have going around in our brain, the things that we can do to rewire, retrain, reshape our brain. Um, that saying you you can't teach an old dog new tricks is complete bull stuff. I'm trying to keep it not explicit, yeah? Um, because you can, and it, science says so. Cause science, you can retrain your brain and you can retrain it by doing all sorts of absolutely wonderful things you can retrain your brain by being kind to yourself to other people and i mean that is just such a simple thing you can trigger happy hormones by doing a smile and guess what friends your brain doesn't know the difference between a fake smile and a real smile so if you put a fake smile on your face you, however grumpy you are, cannot deny that at some point that turns into a real smile. And when you smile, this triggers a really cool little protein guy in your body called a neuropeptide. And he goes doo, 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 through your neurosystem and it goes, hey, let's have a happy party and you get all your wonderful things like oxytocin serotonin all those oh, lovely hormones just going pow 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 let's have an absolute party just from a smile just from a smile calming your nervous system bringing you out of the fight flight survival mode that we all seem to have to be in all the time and there's so many little things that we can do to combat that and glimmers are that so Deb Dana she coined this and I'm just looking at notes so if you're watching me on YouTube or on Spotify you're going to see me looking off screen I've got a terrible short-term memory so I do need to look <laughs> to look um she coined it in her book that she brought out in 2018 called the polyvagal theory in therapy and within that she refers to glimmers and in the book, she describes them as small moments when our biology is in a place of connection or regulation, which cues our nervous system to feel safe or calm. So when she talks about it, what she's saying is that glimmers are the opposite of triggers. So when you are triggered, and I think we all know what that feels like, don't we? When we're triggered, we are sent into that survival mode your cortisol is triggered that's your stress hormone that's your ooh, reactive hormone um and you you know you go into fight flight fright shouty bum mode right i think we all know that glimmers however are the opposite of that glimmers are these tiny teeny teeny tiny micro moments um that are like moments of awe and of joy and of comfort and they send signals to your nervous system to calm which when you are triggered is exactly what you need and they truly are opposites to each other and I said, once I learned this I was just like OMG, I have been a glimmer seeker my entire life. And the way that I've had that kind of explained to me, I suppose, the only thing that I can see that's closest enough is when people say uh, about silver linings. Um, and while I absolutely, yes, loved being described as somebody who would always find the silver lining, I kind of hated it because it meant that what he was describing is that I was always in a situation where there's a big grey cloud, there is something negative and there has to be a silver lining. Um, and that would really upset me because unfortunately, that quite often is reality. There does tend to be a greater 
um, noticing of negative, and that is a survival thing that's perfectly natural, it's very instinctive, but we can actively work towards combating that. And science is definitely taking us in a direction where we can become more responsible for our emotional regulation and the way that we do respond to triggers and the way that we no longer allow it to hold power over us. We no longer let the things that have happened to us in our past to take hold of us, to affect us in our everyday lives. And that to me is in itself one big whopping flipping glimmer, isn't it? So these glimmers are such a range of things. They can be such a range of things. And you, once you start seeking them once you start looking for them you will notice them everywhere it can be so for me one of my big glimmers is rainbows and as we all know real rainbows don't really happen that often in real life um we're seeing a lot more at the moment because it's autumn so there's a lot more rain and it is absolutely my favorite thing about this season is the amount of rainbows that we see so if we have a rainy day and I see like it stops raining for a few minutes I'm like everybody get your wellies on get your jackets on we're going out (laughs) because I can guarantee that there's going to be a rainbow out there and oh my gosh that feeling of happiness of joy of awe the nature can produce something so beautiful, something so perfect, something that so represents happiness. You can probably hear it in me. Like, I just feel, like, so, like, filled with just this absolute joy. And those are my common glimmers. So I will often see rainbows all over the place and I don't mean like you know like pictures of rainbows and stuff those yeah they're lovely but that's not quite the thing but what I mean is like when I'm doing the washing up and I look at the bubbles and there is a rainbow um all sorts of rainbows in my sink or if we're driving and we go past um a road sign that has that white reflective um stuff on it and your lights go across it and there's a rainbow on there um those moments for me oh I treasure them so much and I thought that I would talk to you a little bit about what I do when I see a glimmer and what I encourage you to do when you see a glimmer so that you can start to kick those triggers in the butt (laughs) to put it frankly so this is what I do when I see a glimmer I will stop and I will look at it and I will be within myself and you know what I mean by that I'm not allowing myself to be distracted by this over there distracted by that I'm not allowing myself to not feel like I'm in my body I will be here I try to pull myself into my heart center into the central column so that I can then drink in those glimmers and one, I suppose one of the reasons that I am so drawn to rainbows is because it's colour and colour is one of kind of the purest forms of vibration um, of what we can draw into ourselves. That's why there's things like colour therapy, um, light therapy, all those things. And that's that's kind of going off on a different subject. But anyway, I will stop and I will look at this thing. I will allow the smile to happen on my face or the giggle or the dancing or anything like that and then I will take that feeling I will notice that feeling and I will hold on to it and I will draw that feeling into myself into my heart center and I will hold it there 
And each time you do that, not only are you actively working with your nervous system, you are calming your symptomatic nervous system, you are combating the kind of the negative effects of um, being triggered, et cetera, et cetera. Or even if you're just feeling a bit sad, it's such a lovely way to bring a little pick me up to yourself. Um, and I will commit that glimmer to memory because the magic, the true, true magic of being able to do that and the true mag magic of understanding um, the way that imagination works is that you then hold the power to be able to recall that moment, recall that feeling and relive it within your body. Which means that if you do have something happen that triggers you, which is a big pile of poop, um, but it happens and we need to just accept the fact that these things happen, but we also need to accept the fact that we can do something, we can actively do something and take the power of the glimmer to combat that. So when you are feeling triggered and you need to take a moment to breathe, redraw that feeling of seeing that glimmer bring the imagery of that glimmer back up into your mind and that will help you to regulate your nervous system that will help you to feel deep within you the feeling that you felt when you saw that glimmer and there's so many examples of what a glimmer can be and there's so many different versions some of them are really really tiny some of them are much bigger some of them are about having cuddle contact with other people um about receiving a smile from somebody else if somebody else smiles at you that smile triggers oxytocin within yourself like how cool is that when people say that smiles are contagious they literally are um, and that's why you will see me wandering around like a complete lunatic, smiling at strangers, at anybody that I see. I will always smile because I just love the idea that if you smile at another person, you are, in fact, creating a little flurry of love hormone within that person. And isn't that just the most amazing gift that you can give? And it's free, mate it's free, doesn't cost you anything. And in return, you get a little happy hormone party in your brain, don't you? So it's it literally a win-win situation. So I would really, really love you to maybe look a bit more into what a glimmer is, maybe have a think about what your glimmers might be. It could be the smell of cut grass, like, mm, gorgeous. For me, it's the smell of coffee when I'm scooping the coffee out of coffee into my cafeteria um it can be going out and looking at the moon it can be knowing that you are going earthing and you're doing that wonderful thing for yourself it could be seeing a bird flying past your window it could be anything it could be the sound of laughter from someone within your family your vicinity anything it could be anything and you'll know because you'll get that feeling of awe and joy and just kind of being dumbstruck just by something it could be sun rays coming through the leaves of a tree anything but please just give yourself the opportunity to notice them and give yourself the opportunity to start to pull your power <laughs> and start to increase your happiness and your joy um and within your passion business all of this is really beneficial because you will start to feel more relaxed within yourself you will start to feel more natural within yourself you will then more than likely start to communicate that and your audience will notice. I guarantee your audience will notice and they will be drawn to your shine. And that 
is how you really do build your passion business because you are going to be drawing your community and your tribe and the people who want to be within your world so please please have a wonderful day please go out and find your glimmers hold them love them and save those beautiful moments for later and I will see you in the next episode and maybe I will have changed my top by then okay my lovely be happy and I will see you later bye